So in problem 7-2a, we're going to learn about setting up a petty cash fund. So a lot of times in offices, they want to have some cash on hand and they'll usually put it in a lockbox or in an envelope or somewhere stored where it's safely locked up where they could go and reimburse for expenses just on a daily basis. So one example would be needing to go to the post office to buy some stamps. So instead of writing a check for that, what they would do is just take it out of the take the cash out of the petty cash fund and then go to the post office, buy some stamps, then they'd come back, put the change back in there and then put the receipt in there. So the first journal entry that we're going to do today is to establish this petty cash fund. So the first part is for the company to write a check from its bank account into petty cash. So then they can just get the cash and then put it in that lockbox. So in this question, Halifax Fitness Consulting completed the following petty cash transactions during February 2020. So we'll start with the first journal entry, which is February 2nd and we're establishing a, a petty cash fund for $360. So I know that I'm taking money out of my cash account, so I'll do that one first. So remember, it doesn't matter if you do your debits or credits first, it just depends on how you think. But when we put it into the system, we have to always put our debits on top and then our credits on bottom. And then my next journal entry is to do the petty cash. For 360. So now we don't actually do anything until the end of the month where we reconcile the petty cash fund. So in your next video what you'll see us doing is reconciling all the transactions from the 5th until the 28th and then the third video will do the journal entry to put that summary entry into our accounting records and then reconcile the petty cash fund.